back to the channel. It's been a while since we've done a junkyard video. So we are currently in Lexington, so we're going to go by the 109 yard. We've got a couple parts that I want to see if I can't grab. Um, and just look around since it's been a hot minute since we've been out to the 109 yard. Got the girlfriend with me, so we're going to make a trip out of it and uh, just see what we can see. Got to uh, get some Jeep parts, got to get some Dodge parts, and uh, going to try to find some Ford parts for a buddy of mine. So we'll see what we can get. All right, so we got this 1990 Country Edition, which has the full chrome grill insert and everything. We're mainly looking for this piece right here. Mine is um, cracked up and all that stuff. It's all kinds of messed up right here and everything. This one's definitely showing its wear but it's a hell of a lot better than what's on it now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that. And I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe pulling this uh, all chrome grill out since and there's not a whole lot really messed up on it. I mean, it really don't look in bad shape. It's not cracked up and scarred up. I don't know, This um, that light's a little bit, um, eh, I don't know if I can pull that out or not, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. So I got that pulled off, just two little Phillips head screws. I used my multi-tool to get that off, and I would seriously pull this grill, but it's just the fact that I don't wanna to have to go through the work and pull this light. So if any of y'all out there are in the central North Carolina area and need a fantastically good shape chrome grill off a of 90 xj they've got one right here at pull at a 109 you pull it here in west of salem come get it i would pull it but it just ain't worth it to me because i don't really need it so um it's here so uh let's venture out into the yard and see if they got what i need off of dakota Whew. That looks like it got hit hard or something hit hit hard or something, something, something happened. It, it, it looks kind of painful. Whew. Looks like it was a clean second gen too though. Holy cow. Someone had a girlfriend or wife named Caitlin. Looks like it was a clean truck before it got wrecked. Whoever... Whoever cammed a second gen is, or that's their ghost. I guess that's what, Snapchat or something? Hmm. Well, not very long trip out here. Didn't really see much that I needed. I only got the uh, marker light for the Jeep. Um, I didn't even bring my uh, toolkit out here because I knew I had one and sitting in the back of the truck. But, uh, not a whole lot, but um, yeah, the girlfriend didn't end up coming out here with me because someone thought it was a good idea to wear flip-flops to a junkyard. Now, I ain't bashing her on that, but um, that may not be the smartest idea in the world, and um, due to the uh, policy that they have, no open-toed shoes, they couldn't let her in the yard which I didn't even know that was a thing cause well most of the time when you come out to a junkyard you wear closed toed shoes, boots, something to protect your feet not flip flops so I didn't even know but um, yeah that happened a uh, Mustang here that uh, they ain't much left of it if I had to say myself not a whole lot left of it. Got a transmission in there, but I don't think that's worth a whole lot. But uh, everything else is pretty much picked through. This is at the back of the lot. 
old Corvette over there. I think that's what a C4, C4 Corvette. Another Mustang. Oh, Galaxy 500. And uh, I want to say this is an old Chevrolet. Maybe. I don't know. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. See, this is what I like about 109. You don't see this at Pull Apart. They don't keep them around long enough. I think this is a Chevrolet. I don't know. It could. Something's hitting me on as a Pontiac. I don't know. But, um, then this, uh, I don't know for sure is a Dodge. This, this looked, yep, Firebird. No, not Firebird. This is a, uh, yeah. Now, this is, this is a Trans Am, right? I should know this. I should know this. I'm pretty sure it's a Firebird. If it's not, it's a Trans Am. But, uh, man, you gotta love the classics. This one's even got the good old, what they call the Lennon Tower of Power. Alright, so guys, it's a couple nights later. Uh, got home, put the part on the Jeep that we got, uh, threw the old part in the trash because it was cracked and no good. Um, so yeah, they ended up being about five bucks, six dollars, something like that. Um, ended up being the cheapest yard visit that I've had to date. Which, I was expecting that because, well, he can't really charge much for just a little amber marker light, but... I say that because most of the time, whenever I leave the yard, I end up spending about 50 bucks, minimum. Um, but yeah, great time out in the yard. Um, always a great time out in the yard. Well, I say that, but depends on what you're going for. Um, I'll say that much. But um, yep, everything worked out the way I wanted it to. Um, I'm still looking for a couple parts uh, for a couple different projects, but um, they'll come in time. But um, Till next time. Now, did you learn your lesson?